Hey, what's up guys? Infinite Envy here coming to you with another multiplayer commentary for Modern Warfare 3. I'm this is actually from my Team D Tuesday series and this is a pretty good gameplay that I'm bringing to you guys. Well, I'm using the Scar Red Dot Sight with I think I have Assassin or I think I have Assassin or Quick Draw, I'm not sure, but I know I have Sleight of Hand and I think was it Mar I think I had Marksman. I'm not not 100% sure. But I think I'll tell you right now. Oh no, I had Stalker, guys. Sorry about that. So I had um Stalker, Sleight of Hand with a Scar Red Dot. It's a pretty good class, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's a pretty good gameplay. So basically, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about this. Uh, the game, I, it's absolutely amazing, Modern Warfare 3. I mean, it's not boring me at all. It's going to be a game for the next two years. Treyarch's going to come out with the game, and Infinity Wards, Modern Warfare 3, is still going to top the list in games played. I mean, I'm sorry, but competitively, Modern Warfare 3 is a lot more fun to play than playing the Treyarch games for many different reasons. <clears throat> so, basically, guys, uh, this is a little gameplay, and it's on, uh, I think, what is this map? Mission, I think. This is actually the same map. If you guys watched my uh, Mosh Pit Monday for last week, it's the same map I got my MOB on. And if you guys don't know what a MOB, MOB is, it's actually the mother of all bombs. It's basically the nuke from Modern Warfare 2. Slightly different, doesn't end the game, but it's still 25 kills. But your kill streaks actually don't go towards it. So you have to do it all with your gun, knife, grenades, so and so. And this was actually one of my first games actually playing Modern Warfare 3. And this was this is about a week old. I, I mean, I was going to come out with this Team D Tuesday. Uh, last week, but I decided to wait till this week to bring it out just because the game had just came out and I just wanted to get a little more game time in to so I could talk about a little bit more about the game and how it runs and stuff like that. Another thing is I like to keep the keep the kill streak simple because I like to go back to the way it was back in the COD 4 days and the World at War days. So I always keep it simple with my 357. I don't use the precision air strike like COD 4 used to be, but I actually use the Predator, which I personally like a lot better, and I know a lot of other people do too. Because uh, the Predator, if you think about it, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill. So, I don't know, that's kind of why I like to use it. So, I run the 357, the UAV, the Predator missile, the attack helicopter. The attack helicopter in this game, I think, is a little more effective than it actually it has been in the past games. It's actually one of my favorite kill streaks because the attack helicopter, as long as it's not a close quarters map, it really helps you in getting kills to help get your KD up and your points up, help you rank up faster. I mean, I think at this point in the game, I had about a 4.2. I'm pretty sure I had about a 4.2. Not sure, but now I have about a 3.1. I mean, it's still a good KD, but it's just... Those kill streaks, I think, keep it a little more simple. keeps It keeps the game simple. I wish everyone used those kill streaks, but hey, what are you gonna do? And these guys um, in here, they were weren't using or they weren't that great. But this scar red dot is actually still to this day, a week later after the game's been out, it's still one of my favorite classes. It's the gun's really really powerful and really accurate, and I think that's why it's such a good gun in this game. And I think you're going to see a lot more people using it in other commentaries and stuff. Another gun I like is actually the Red Dot ACR. It's really effective. The UMP is always good. And the P90 is also a pretty good gun. So just keep it up, guys. Uh, subscribe, like, favorite to this video. Sorry this was a quick video, but this gameplay, the Team D, actually went kind of fast. We kind of did work on the other team because I actually had a full team, full, full party with me. I had EG Bluff, EG Visions, uh, just a bunch of other people. Anyways, guys, subscribe to my videos, 27 and 2. Thank you, guys. Talk to you guys.